Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Lynn McCall and today I'm gonna bring you guys a video that I think all of you will come to appreciate. So before we get started, I just wanna let you guys know that I'm not affiliated with Sony or any company you guys hear or see throughout the remainder of this video. So back in early 2014, I was shooting on the Nikon D7100 and looking to invest into a more professional full frame camera that could do photos just as well as videos. Now, the Sony Alpha 7 line definitely caught my eyes because they weren't afraid to put full HD video at 60 frames per second on their full frame sensors, unlike Nikon and Canon. So right off the bat, I was looking into their line. The A7S definitely had its toes dipped into the video side while the R was more into the photo side. And they were just too invested into those sides of the art forms. And I was looking for one that was right in the middle and I got the A7. So with that A7, I went ahead and got the Zeiss 35 2.8, you know, a little pancake lens as I call it and also had their 28 to 70 kit lens. And I shot with these lenses for years and I was super happy with the results I was getting while I was also saving money for their more professional grade glass later on down the line. So now we flash forward a few years. I now have their Sony a7R2 that I use on the daily. I'm also heavily invested into their G Master lenses. I got the 70 200 2 way 24 to 70, and now the 16 to 35 is on the way. I have a lot of their professional grade glass on my body, and I love all of their lenses. But there is one lens, without a doubt, that gives me the biggest bang for buck and that has never let me down. It's super sharp, the contrast, the color, everything is rendered perfectly with this lens. However, it doesn't get all the hype that their G Masters do. So without further ado, I'm gonna give you guys, in my opinion, what is the best bang for buck lens you can get from Sony right now. And that is the Sony 90 millimeter 2.8 macro lens. So now I'm gonna explain why I think this is the best bang for buck lens you can get from Sony. The first being, well, it's a 2.8 lens. Yes, there are faster primes on the market, 1.8s, and there's now even a 0.95 offered by a third-party company. However, 2.8 is fast enough to where you're gonna get some really nice blurry bokeh in the background, as well as if you are one of those guys that believes in stopping the image down to like, you know, F4 and F5.6 or whatnot and getting the sharper image, this is also going to deliver that for you. So another thing that I really like about this lens is actually the focus ring. Now forgive me if I'm incorrect, but I think that this is a fly-by-wire focusing system in the sense that when, when I turn the lens, you heard that click, it has hard stops in it. So if I throw this lens up on my cine rig, I can actually get hard stops and the focus is not going to shift as it would on some of my other G Master zooms. So just another benefit of this lens. It's also a small and compact prime compared to the 85 G Master offered by Sony and it has optical steady shot and it even has some micro adjustments on the side to where you can shoot an even closer macro and then you can also shoot an infinity to 0.5 meter range, or of course you can shoot across the full spectrum of the lens. And something else that Sony's doing in all of their lenses that no other company has really picked up on is you're actually getting focus hold buttons on these lenses. So whenever you're picking up your camera and you're shooting, you know, whatever it is, you can put your thumb on that lens and get a focus hold without having to push the back button. I could go into so much more greater depth with the style of this lens and why I think it's so amazing, but let's also talk about the price. At the time of making this video, this lens was $1,095. There are other lenses on the market offered by Canon, Nikon, and Sony that are in the upwards of $1,600 to $1,900. Now, yes, some of these lenses might be faster in the sense they might be f 1.8s, 1.2s. Yes, this might be an f 2.8 and slower, but you're talking about about six to nine hundred more dollars for those lenses. Now me, at my level of photography and film, I can't justify that. But even if I could, I would not want to necessarily invest into one of those lenses if I had this lens. The reason is, is because 2.8 is fast enough for anything that I need. The focusing system is fast enough for anything I need. 
and the photos and the quality of images that I'm getting out of this lens is just flawless. It's second to none. Recently, I went back home and did a photo shoot with my brother inside of a studio, and it was a really clean setup. You know, we had the fog machine, we had his dirt bike propped up on a stand, he was all decked out in his fast house gear and, you know, showy helmet and whatnot. And every single one of those photos was shot with this lens. And as you guys see some of my favorite photos that were done throughout that shoot, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on pieces of the photos and just look at the quality of the color and the sharpness that you guys are getting here. Now, yes, the images that you guys have seen up to this point have been post-processed. Now, here is one of my photos that has not touched Photoshop and still look at the quality that you guys are getting even when we start pixel peeking. Now, yes, some of this also has to do with shooting with the A7R2 and it's, you know, massive 42 megapixels. However, this lens is able to capture every single one of those pixels to the most accurate rendition possible. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. And I just want to let you all know that I am not trying to get you all to purchase this lens. I have no affiliation. However, I'm just giving you guys my experience with this lens and why I think it's the best bang for buck offer for the Sony Alpha cameras at this time. So thanks for watching guys. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not. And as always guys, I'm Lane McCall.